When you use the term meditation from an English um, terminology, I think people have, in today's world, um, come up with all kinds of ideas, right down to uh, calming the mind, to it being something taught mainly during in the contemplative arts or uh, by Buddhist teachings and Buddhist masters. People have uh, many different kinds of um, definitions of meditation as well as conclusions on their own of what meditation might be. But from a Buddhist uh, perspective, I think one cannot close meditation to being just one technical thing uh, because that would limit human mind's potential and meditation has everything to do with working with human mind. So I think the best approach would be is the very traditional approach that is taught in the Buddhist teachings is that meditation is a term that is derived from the terminology or the term gom which means to become familiar with. And so what does meditation mean? It can simply be defined as meditation means to become familiar with, to become familiar with yourself. And of course people say to become familiar with training your mind and becoming familiar with your mind. But that's again I think a little bit too complex a subject to go into immediately. So I think the best and the simpler way to approach that would be is meditation means to become familiar with yourself. And the very direct and a very natural, almost a non-spiritual way of looking at that would be is by learning to be observant, to observe yourself, to observe what you're saying, to observe what you're thinking, nothing particular to do besides watching it, besides watching it and being very careful in your observation of how it functions because without that you never really know yourself. And without having the ground basis of knowing yourself, trying to tame something and that very invisible mind that we call is uh, sort of hoping for the moon before you've learned to walk. So I think it's very important to, for people who are just sort of beginning to learn about meditation is to just learn how to be a little bit more observant. And when you watch yourself, when you become more observant, obviously the natural or the automatic uh, result of that will be what is then commonly called a mindful approach, an approach of awareness. And that then I think initializes the process of being able to work with your own space, with your own self and the environment in which the self functions. And that probably then would provide a better foundation for people to understand the whole concept of why one should meditate.